Hey folks, welcome back to the key. Well, you can tell we're definitely not on the key today. Got something new to play with. Well, work with, I guess. This is Justin's new machine. Rotney F15D. Not a fighter jet, but it definitely does a good job of collecting wood. Anyways, let's take a look, see what you think. GP at GP Outdoors would be happy with us. We've got chains on our tires. Lots of traction now. So if the trees are cooking, maybe they're not, you line up the bottom one with your bunk, with, uh, with the trees that are already on, the, on your bunk. And then they all should fall fairly straight, if you're lucky. <laughs> like, I was, I was scared. Yeah, with, it, with the processor walking up one of them, like it was, uh, yeah, it was not fun. Directed attention, eh? Like down it, down it actually, down it was not Well, fun. the thing about the processor is different with the excavator or even the buncher. You don't have something solid that you can grab the ground with. No. Like, you're just, you start going for a ride, you're going for a ride. That's it. Like, you can't, there's no saving it. Yeah. The 
The trees that uh, we're picking up were cut this summer and there's no markers on any of them. So we're just about basically trolling for buried trees, trying to find different types and different styles so that we can uh, get them to the roadside. Well, the next morning, it was my turn. Anyways, minus 22, minus nine. Start up the preheater, get things warmed up. It takes about half an hour for the Wabasto to uh, get the engine and the hydraulics warmed up. Then you can spark up the machine itself. The ride out to the logs didn't go quite as I had planned. Get going here and that was my coffee. Anyways, managed to save it. Didn't spill too much in Justin's brand new machine, so we were okay that way. Yeah, I'm going to speed this up because this little drive actually took me like four minutes. It happens when you only do two kilometers an hour. Once I figured out the speed control, then we were good. Ask me why we live in northwestern Ontario. Well, getting closer to the end of the day, Saw the shadow I thought it looked kind of neat. That's 15 tons worth of logs on the back of this machine. And it trucks along like there's no issues in the world. I guess that's what you get when you have purpose-built machinery. Definitely does the job of moving logs really well. Now, we finished the day. Figured the light was perfect for taking some more pictures. Not as cloudy as it was yesterday, so. Here's the Rotney F-15D. Beautiful machine. You could almost pay me to do this job. I'm glad that Justin lets me go and play with his machinery once in a while. Anyways folks, I'm going to show you a couple more things. How big it is, how high it is, even though it's not really that big. Managed to uh, not bend anything, so that was a good thing. I think Justin will let me play again. Anyways, folks, glad you could make it over to the key. Thanks for coming by. If you like this kind of content, let me know. If you want me to look at something else, I'll see what I can do. Take care. Hope everybody stays warm. Only minus 25 today, so <laughs> we're getting there. Ciao for now. See you next time.